Meet the cool cows, bred to reduce global warming. So how does that work? These are all half-sisters, born here at Scotland's Rural College in the spring, and they're putting on weight fast. Like all cattle, they belch and break wind. It's because of the microbes in their stomachs and their digestion. But that produces methane, a greenhouse gas that is even more damaging than carbon dioxide, trapping heat in the atmosphere. But here's the thing. Scientists are measuring how much methane they produce using special hoods to capture the gas. And they found that some cattle produce less than others. The researchers are using them to breed and produce the next generation of cattle. There's no genetic modification, just breeding. But the calves produce 2% less methane than their parents. And that's repeated generation after generation to produce greener cows. There are around 9 million cattle in Britain, together producing roughly 5% of the UK's total greenhouse gas emissions. So even small reductions in the amount of methane add up to a big number. Permanent and cumulative is what we call it. Uh, so once you've got an animal that produces less methane, she produces less for life. And when you mate her to a lower methane producing bull, her offspring produced even less than she did, and you just keep going on and on and on, and over 20 years, you can reduce it by 40%. But food sustainability researchers say there's still methane in the waste from cows, and we all need to eat less beef and dairy. Yes, let's make things more efficient, if we can, because like, I don't think an entirely vegan world is A, feasible, B, particularly desirable. And so that can be part of the mix, which just absolutely must not be used as a smokescreen for shifting to more plant-based diets. But the most effective way to reduce methane from cows is to farm fewer cows. Reducing methane could be a quick win for climate change. Yes, it's more damaging than carbon dioxide, but it breaks down more quickly in the atmosphere. So reducing methane from cows could be a big deal for UK agriculture. And maybe one day there will be a truly guilt-free steak.